All right, severed arm. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Oh, oh God. Yeah, he got it. Okay. All right, welcome back, everyone, for another round of Die Young. We are here, of course, at the top of the Central Peak and everything. And I'm not sure if I've actually been to that house or if I've been... Uh, I don't... I can't tell from up here. I don't think I've been down there, but we are at the tower. We're going to climb in and try to figure out more about what's going on here. And of course, the door's locked. There's electric fence uh, around the different gaps. So obviously somebody has actually spent money. As it was mentioned, it's funny. They do spend a lot of money, uh, you know, for a uh, group that are trying to shed modern society. Uh, we go climb up. And of course, now we got more parkour. Oh, oh, cutscene. Somebody's got a piece of cabling going through their body. And that's a big boy. He's a dog. He's a good boy, but he, he's a big good boy. Oh, this. Uh, this does not look good to me. I mean, everything else is scaffolding. I've got big planks. Uh, I, I don't see this one board here that I can't even tell how it's mounted in there. That just does not look like it's going to be stable. Uh, go quick, quick. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, wow. I died just by running and slamming my head into a box. All right, so uh, I guess I'm going to do this. Oh, and it did it again. So yeah, this is not really done that well. I mean, everything up to that point is telling you to run, and then now you're supposed to not run, otherwise you die. Uh, okay, what? Oh, God, it's the big boy. Um, oh, well, got that. No, no, no. He's tracking, that, that's just food. All right, you know what, here we go. Whoa, he didn't take any damage. What the heck? How is it he took no damage? That's not right. Um. Okay. So I've got like med kits and stuff like that here. Oh. So there's like two lines of electricity. I'm assuming that has, oh, there's the, yeah, the fences. Wow, okay. Maybe I'm supposed to like grab a piece of one of them and throw it like a toy. Uh, let's, let's see. Uh... Boop, oh yeah, the rock did nothing. So I guess I'm supposed to actually come in and have like no, like one item less. Let's drop that. Bye. Ah, get away from me. All right, severed arm. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Oh, oh God. Yeah, he got it. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh, here we go. Up. Uh, oh, come on. Smack. Smack you. I'm going to smack you with the hand. And I'm going to stab you in the head. And it does nothing. Seriously. All right, this time. Come on. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. Basically, you, the only option you have is get him to lunge at you so you can't I mean I, I feel like I would be throwing the uh, severed hand and uh, getting him to chase it and try to get it and then he jumps into the electric fence but no instead you're supposed to let him try to hit you oh come on I feel like you're meant to get here and just fail repeatedly so you learn that you pretty much were supposed to have food like equipped ready to use super fast okay um he's not dead fight's not over obviously i'm supposed to you know 
Okay, so I basically have to trip all of these back on. And I died! And it seems like he's getting, I guess, immune to it because he's taking less damage from each hit now. Like, that last one barely did anything. And then, of course, he lunges, you know, at the wrong angle. Like, he, he didn't lunge at me, he lunged to the side of me. Oh, that he got me there. And that hit took way more injury off of him. Like, he, he took a lot more damage from that one. And that one, too. All right, can we finish this? Oh, is he dead? Is he dead? Then it saves automatically. At least they did that part right. Jeez. Oh, wait. Now I can open this. So I couldn't open this before. And conveniently, we have a water spot because, you know, you probably used a lot of your thirst meter up running constantly. I didn't really have a problem with that. It was more of a, you know, eating all my food. Uh, another door. And it leads me back. Yes. Back into this area. So that's unlocked, at least. And they conveniently left the porta potties up here. And they look awfully clean, you know, for being porta potties. And yeah, look at that. That does not look good. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, save really point. expect me to climb this thing? Uh, yes, conveniently a save point right here at the bottom of this big parkour thing. I guess I'm supposed to do something like that. Because the door's locked from the other side. And it's not one to let me climb through here. I mean, stuck. Stuck. Maybe I'm supposed to go find the other side over there and climb up that way. Ah, there we go. So right around the rock edge here, concealed by a little shrub, we have that point. Okay. All right, that looks a lot simpler. Okay. Um. All right. I kept trying to jump down there and it didn't want to let me. Again, there's a lot of stuff that's just not complete in the game. There's so many things that are buggy or just don't work at all. I don't see this as a full release game. This is not complete. This is like a beta game. Okay, please let me not have another board that falls under me on this one and I fall down because I think at this point I would uh, hurt myself. I got an elevator. How convenient. I also have the other elevator at least down from that other side building over there to make it easy to get back down. I might have to take it down just to see where it goes. I also have my fast travel thanks to the uh, little shelter over there. And there we go. Everything marked with white so you know which way to jump. Oh, no. There it goes again. That's, that's going to be the part that says break and fall. Uh, this is like, it's not just climb it. It's a maze to make you do a lot of Going this way, that way. Oh yeah, door, okay. So I guess I'm supposed to open the door and then jump back because, you know, there's... The door obviously had to open in the direction where I am, uh, you know, not able to climb through that way. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way instead, perhaps. Uh, though I'm not sure anymore because I keep, you know, I think I'm making progress. Then I end up falling because I'm just standing there looking around. At least this part's getting a little bit easier now. I mean, not easier, less problematic. It's really, there's nothing difficult in the game so far other than combat. And combat is only difficult due to the way the combat mechanics are being handled. I mean... For the most part, combat really is not that difficult. Uh, you know, the parkour is not that difficult. But when you run into a bug where you're standing on a ledge, looking down, trying to figure out where to go, and you just suddenly slide through the rock, that makes it more difficult. When you have a dog that <laughs> consistently attacks at different Watch angles. 
that One slip makes up it and you'll find more yourself difficult. giving the tower paint job in red. Hey, look, they realize that this is irritating. Here's another save point. Wow! I climbed where I was supposed to and it launched me over the edge at that point. Oh, what? Yeah, again, almost right off the edge, just climbing up here. It put me right on the edge, and last time it actually launched me over, maybe fall, because I guess it detected I was on that tiny millimeter point where, oh, there's no terrain here. Oh, 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 I, oh, again. Oh. Oh, finally. Please give me another save point. I should have another save point after that, like. That, that's that's a spot you want to say because even that little point right there was just irritating. Oh. Okay. All right. We're gonna go this way. At some point, it's gonna make me walk the wrong way or you know step through a board that's visibly there but doesn't actually exist in the game. And yeah, it's just I'm waiting for something to happen. All right, I made it up again. So basically, even though I have the gloves for climbing and you have to have the gloves to get up here, basically have these short little climbs where then you get to rest for a moment, get your stamina back before you go on to the next part. Uh, okay, yeah, there, there we go, I guess. Oh, great, yeah. I'm supposed to climb on that part. To jump to that, because, you know, that tiny little bit made all the difference. Even though I was jumping from the side, that tiny little bit of height made all the difference. Alright, at least these doors are not locked, and oh, man. Ah, uh, that... Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, somebody has not been up here in a while to do some maintenance work. Oh, yeah, convenient. They know this is a frustrating game, an irritating game, not a difficult game because they put convenient save points where they know you're going to be frustrated from dying repeatedly due to the nature of what you're doing and the bugs that are in the game. Oh, great. That's my option there is that stupid ladder. Um. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, you know, when you grab that bottom rung and fortunately, you know, the door, that one door broke free and fell off the building, but none of the uh, ladders are doing that. That would have been like, I figured that's where you grab it and you suddenly fall with that. Dave's map from Dave to my friends. Hi, guys. I've taken the walkie talkie. I'm going to take on the last trial. So apparently he's getting uh. Uh, we can't leave. We can only choose to join the community or die. So he's like, I'm taking my trial. Guess I'm going to join the community. You know, instead of like, I'm going to try and escape. Oh, hey, look. Puppets. It's a puppet cutting the string. Yeah, okay. Is that one of the other things? I, I know I saw something else I got recently. There's the elevator. Or a dumb waiter. Uh, I've got like a... Oh! There we go. Okay, so I can lower it and go down. Hmm. I'm not going to do that yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go here. We've got uh, Welcome one of many walkie-talkies. Allow me to introduce myself. Okay. Here among these people, I am known as Brother Number One. All right, Brother and Number I One. I am the one that looks after the community living on this island. Oh, so where did I come, so where did I come from? This. Fucking psycho. Yeah, you're crazy. Rejoice. This is your chance to become a new person, a new woman. Maybe I don't want For to be a new woman. I've lived in a society corrupted by capitalism. And First, you're corrupted by socialism. Things you don't need. Then that everything has a price. Uh-huh. And that price is measured by money. Yeah. Finally, yeah, kind of how that works. That money. But in exchange for what? Your time, your health, your freedom. 
What All right. I have a feeling I'm supposed to go back down anyway, so we're just gonna head on down. Uh huh. Yeah, because I want to get out of here and expose this place. Lots of reloads from save points. That's what I relied on. And bugs in the game. Uh huh. Okay, great. Honest, now what? You've never felt as proud of yourself as you do. There's now. that door. I fell from I there. I don't give a damn about this crap. I just want to yeah. go home. Yeah, I want to go home. Because this hey, is home. Hey, are you even listening? No. Half of your group is already dead. Oh, that means a couple of people are still alive at least, right? Beyond me. Uh huh. No future. Oh, that's not your decision. No. I'm mad. Okay. North towards the beach. Uh, I remember that little spot, the beach. You know, I went to before. Let's look. Last trial. Uh. The last draw that okay, not just highlight it, you know, already there. Go to the beach north of the high tower. Okay, so let's say go to the beach to the north of the tower. That could mean a beach I've already been to, like where I've had some of the air guys walk around, I think with crossbows. Uh, or it could mean you know, the beach front that's in a different direction. I uh, just double check. Oh, hey, the food and drink have reappeared how convenient you know that they came and put some more food and drink in here for me but yeah we got the key for this that was right here we got that last time so i'm gonna use this and just i want to see where it goes hey nice convenient little spot clearly set up for this and I don't know where I'm at. But he said north. Uh, okay, I'm facing... Oh, wait. I know. I think I remember this. I, that was one of the pathways I could take previously in one spot, but there was the door that was locked. I think that's what I'm going to find up here. But it said north. We're going to head north. Okay, well. I'm not going to the beach. Yeah, it was the beach north of the tower, but I, I'm going north. So, I found the big silo. This is the farm. The hollow fields. Somewhere there's going to be... Watch, another executioner guy. Ha 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 ha! Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, save point and some good supplies. Goody goodies. Actually, I'm not really using any feathers right now. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode of Die Young. I made it to the top of the tower, and we're now on the next step of the trials that we're going through. I I really am getting less and less pleased with this game. Honestly, it's just so buggy. There's so many things that are just... They don't, they don't work the way they should. It's really, really becoming less impressive to me. But yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the game yourself and what you're seeing if you're playing it. And of course, as always, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm Mr. Spicy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.